Baptism is an immersion, and this immersion comes from above. Here we're talking about a baptism. Here we're talking about a baptism, not of water, but of the Holy Spirit. A coming down of God's Spirit from above over the believer. Okay, we can read this in the book of Acts. Okay, chapter 8, verses 7, uh, 14 through 17. And many received the word of God and were baptized in the name of Jesus, but the Holy Spirit had not yet fallen upon none of them. Okay, and that it, and that is a, and that excuse me, is the picture of many believers today. Okay, many believers have received the word of God and baptized in water, but had not yet received the Holy Spirit. How you receive the Holy Spirit? Okay, it says this in Acts chapter nineteen, verse two. Okay, the Acts, or excuse me, the word of. Uh, the word of God says that we can ask, okay, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Okay, it says this in Luke chapter 11 verses 13. Okay, seeking the baptism in the Holy Spirit, you need to be very serious with God. Okay, the baptism demands a life of continual submission and waiting upon God, giving your life to Jesus, living for Him, for His glory, okay, for His glory, okay, when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, okay, you enter into a new spiritual real, which, uh, reality in which Satan and the demonic become very much realistic, okay, many new avenues into your mind and into your spirit are opened, okay, that are, that were not opened before, this is not to panic. It is a reality. Okay. In Acts chapter 2 verse 38 it says. Then Peter said unto them repent. And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Again. If you, if you, if you want to ask. If you want the Holy Spirit. You must submit to God. And to live for him. For his glory. For his kingdom. To bring glory to his name. For his, your body is a temple of God. For your body is a temple of God. Okay. Created unto good works for the kingdom of heaven. For the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Not for your own work, good works. But for the glory in the kingdom of God. Okay. So do not do works for your own self. Because... People say we are saved by grace through faith, through faith, not of ourselves. Okay, that's the twisting of the scripture, but they don't follow the next verse. We are created unto good works for his name, for the kingdom and the glory of God, not for ourselves, not for our own selves. So if you want to do it for your own selves, I, I, you should not be a minister of Christ. You should not be a follower of Christ. It's not a good thing in the long run. You can enjoy now and suffer later or suffer now and enjoy eternal life later. It's not, this life is worth nothing compared to the next. This life is a vapor to what comes next. Your breath is not guaranteed. Your next breath is not guaranteed. Why risk it? You receive a free gift of salvation, eternal life. But you must endure to the end. You must submit to God and live for the kingdom of heaven. And there, I'm telling you now, there is truly no greater honor. There is truly no greater honor. And do not be twisting scripture. Do not be cherry picking scripture. You got to reprove. Okay, if you mess up, uh, own up to it. Reprove from it. That's what God wants. He wants a reproving heart. He wants, it's for, no, we're not going to be perfect. But you got to strive for that perfection. Be ye perfect. For my Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. You got to strive for that perfection. If you mess up, it's a learning experience. Okay? Okay, you got to be willing to reprove. That's the thing. You got to own up to your mistakes. Willful, I mean, masturbation and all these commandments things, you can't continue in the willful. But for doing the kingdom work, if you mess up, it's a reproving thing. It's a reproving thing. It's a learning experience. Trust in God. I will post a repentance prayer down below. I recommend. I, all I can do. All I can do is warn you. 
All I can do is warn you. It's up to you whether or not you want to live your life the way you want to live it. To the fullest. Hey, that is up to you. I'm telling you now, it's not a way to go. Because it will, it will, it will give you, it will lead you to an eternal separation from God. Trust in God. Repent of your sins. Forsake your sins and trust in God today.